Today we are going to make beeswax out of the leftover honeycomb I got when I drained my honey from my beehives last week. And this is actually a very simple process, but it is messy, messy there. This is so sticky. I, I can't even express how sticky this is. It's a mess. But it's a simple process, like I said. This is a pot I used before. You can see once you get beeswax on something, it stays forever. So I would really recommend you get a pot that you just aren't gonna use for anything else because you won't be able to. You can't get it clean. It just doesn't happen. So all I did was put a little bit of water in the bottom there and you can see it's steaming already. You bring it almost to a boil, but not quite. You just want it really, really warm. And what I found works the best is these paint strainer bags, because it has a little elastic around the top. I'm just gonna put that in there and stretch it around the top uh, and essentially just put that mess right there into the hot pot and let it melt down. I'll show you what that looks like after I get it in. I put the first colander of honeycomb in there and as soon as you put it in it reduces almost to nothing immediately. It's pretty amazing because I, I thought there was no way I was going to get two of these big colanders worth of honeycomb into this little pot and I mean it goes away so fast as soon as you put it in. Now it is a mess and you get honey over everything but the good thing is is that honey cleans up with a little bit of warm water wax not so much so let me dump the rest of this second one in there i'll show you what happens okay so after you heat it up for a little bit this is what you're stuck with this nasty brown probably bee poop kind of stuff um, but as it's a liquid, you can see, as soon as it cools, it turns, there's the wax. It's on the handle. It cools down right away. Uh, so all you really do is just make sure it's all melted, and then you pull this out. And what's going to happen is the wax rises to the top of the water as it cools, and it, it, it forms this little disc. Uh, and then you, you're probably going to want to repeat this process maybe two more times because uh, you never really get some of this stuff gets through but the more you do it the more refined it gets the more pure and it's pretty cool I'll probably get about a half inch disc out of this which you can break up it goes a long way depending on what you're doing all right hey uh, don't forget to smash up that like button and subscribe to the channel if you like what you see I'm still new to all this, so it might not be the proper way. I'm just telling you how I do it. So any comments are appreciated. Thanks for watching. So look at this. I just bumped the microwave on the way out of the pot. And I got wax all over everything. As soon as it cools, it like gets rock hard. This is the stuff I get in trouble for. One little splatter. This is going to be a nightmare to clean up. Ah. Damn bees. But you can see it's already hardening on top. It cools down right away. Luckily, I'm in Pennsylvania and it's probably 20 degrees out, so I'll put it outside to help it along. I will show you when the disc is done, but I got a little cleanup to do. So I was looking down in here after I threw this out. I was thinking to myself, holy cow, that's a lot. See all the wax it's stuck to the side of that thing? That's a lot of beeswax. So this is actually a paint strainer from Home Depot. And I think it might be too fine for what I'm doing. The cheesecloth lets a lot more of the wax through. So what I'm going to do, you can see the... I think that's bee poop down there at the bottom. I mean, you have 60,000 bees in a hive. I don't imagine they all go out to poop all the time. I don't know, just my opinion. So I'm gonna take this apart and reboil it uh, to get more of this wax off of this. And I'm gonna use cheesecloth. I just don't wanna throw all that away. 
it's so hard to get it that I want all I can. No more till next year. So no, this was probably not quite a failure yet. I just added more steps to the process. Thanks again for watching. Smash, smash, smash. Okay, so let's see what we got. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's a, <clears throat> it's a lot better than I thought I was going to get out of this. So I will probably do the same process one, maybe two more times. This actually looks pretty clean on the bottom. Wow. And it's probably about a half, five-eighths of an inch thick. So pretty happy with that. So, hey, you want to say hi to the chickens? We let them out for a little bit today. Everybody's still doing good. 15 to 20 eggs a day. It's pretty cool.